you made this yes. film regardless of the fact that yes. it wasn't, I mean, this was committed filmmaking. You made mm -hmm. it um, because you needed to make it. How did you fund it? I mean, this is, you know, we, we've watched a film that has been made with, with virtually no support at all. There's certainly some support from friends and, and, and craftspeople who've got involved. Um, but this is making a, a, a feature film through sheer uh, determination. Yeah, this film is, is really started with my hand, say, three years ago. I got some fund from Hungarian Film Fund, but I got nothing of it. And I decided it is impossible, this kind of project, I will get some money and people put, or produ producer like this kind of project. And I decided I will go to start to shoot it, and I thought in two weeks' time, this film will be over in my hand. But this two Two weeks cost me nearly two years to finish this film. I mean, I got nothing, just support from a friend. And many friends, they are sitting here, they give me a lot of support. But financial support, I got nothing. Uh, logistic support, I got here and there. In the end, uh, when I finished shooting and I put the rough cut, I have to say, uh, uh, Dubai Film Festival, I mean, Mas uh, Oda Murala, I showed him the rough cut and he loved it and he said, he have, we, we have to finish this film. I got some completion money to finish it. Again, the completion money is, is not a lot of money what I got, but many companies in UK, they give me some support. I mean, the composer who helped me a lot in the film, he's sitting here, Tom Donald, and uh, without his help, I think this film, it was impossible to, Chief, the our inc I don't know. I just love the music for this film. Yeah, um, that's the first time I've seen the film with that music. Yes. Yeah, it yes. may. Yes. And I came to you two years ago. You came to my sleeping room or <laughs> where I was editing, and you saw some material, and you give me chance to to project the film in BFI in the studio. I think. That's with, right. Yes. And some people come, but financial nothing happened. I mean, I have to thank my wife, and she's the executive producer, Hefner Hanna. Without her, it was impossible to finish the film because she put money in it. In some ways, the film resembles a documentary. You've used some footage that mm -hmm. you've, you've, you've uh, taken from an archive. Um, you have this extraordinary performance from the main actor. Mm -hmm. Can you talk a little bit about the style of the film and the way you've worked with the actors and, or non-actors in, 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 in this work? Well, uh, I, did, I did many research about the actors and I met a lot of Iraqi actors, but I felt this Sadiq al -Attar, he was in this film, he's the best. He was little bit painful person to me because he's not professional actors, but in the end he made it. For example, always I bought for him the jacket and always he, I don't know, he sold it, he just gave it, he left it. I mean, really, <laughs> nobody, it's cost me a lot of time and money in the edit suite just to hide and to have the same structure. And this is what, and I, I thanks to him, and I did with Sadiq al Attar 10 years ago, short film. And uh, from that moment, he's, he's in my mind. I con contact him. We did that two weeks. After that, I lost him. I brought him back. And in the end, he made it. And I would like to say something about the film style or what I did. I work it for many, many, it's not my style. I'm not person with handheld camera. I, I came from photograph background and I would love, and I'm cinematographer, and I love to use the tripod and lit the film in different way. But with this film, I work, I decided, I am the director, I am the producer, and I am the cameraman, and I decide to do what I feel is useful for this project. And uh, this is what, I try to achieve something, I don't know, 
if I got it, the audience for you know better than me. Always I tried to make the camera again is refugee inside their journey. Always I was, I tried to give feeling I am there. I am the witness. I am the, I am the person behind the camera and I am sitting with him. But I tried to do it in different, not obvious way. I hope I got this, uh, this feeling in this film because I'm very near to them, absolutely. And, uh, and, and this what, uh, this what I got from this film and I f I'm as an Iraqi, I feel we have to do this film and I have to use this kind of footage. I'm sorry to show you this awful footage but uh, we lived as Iraqis with this footage for 40 years or 30 years from our lives. And I thought if I don't handle this footage in feature film, this footage will be, be loose in YouTube, in the news, and every day new news come in. And I thought this is the best way to give this footage is, is one, one package to be in forever in feature film. It's not a new footage for us. All the Iraqis, I think, I believe they know this footage very well. The, the film, when, when we first watched it, and I mentioned we're, we're in refugee week now, and uh, the films that are often brought out to, to highlight or discuss refugees show them in a very sentimental light. So we have films like Casablanca, for instance, which is shown over and over again. But your character here, you've, you've picked quite a complex, quite an unsympathetic character in, in, in one respect, that he has been absolutely implicated in this uh, horror. Um, tell, tell us a little yeah. bit about that. Yeah, and also I've got to say something. It's really, to me, the hero or the the main character in this film is the son. This is what is my, he is my friend in the real life. I lost him. And all the film is about the son. And the cameraman, I just, he is, he is un, as any, I don't know. I got him little bit from Wojciech. The, the Wojciech, this is the, come from German drama, but I didn't, I talked just the person, he accepts everything, he goes with everything. And unfortunately, as the Iraqis, we have this mentality, we go. We created one dictator, and I believe we go to, we create now many, many dictators. In the workshop, we have dictators in our house, in our families, uh, everywhere we have dictators. And, and the, the, the Iraqi person, unfortunately, I am Iraqi, always we accept, any, we accept. And this person, he accept to work for Saddam Hussein, he accept to work against his son, he accept, accept everything. He accept the, when he goes to the another Iraqi person, he accept to take him somehow. They accept, they just, they can't think, they accept. And this is what comes, this comes from, what I said from Wojciech plus is my period of life I lived in East Europe. And I go for ne well, the next film, what I am doing, I go to touch very deeply the subject as what is inside. My film is a study of, how can I say, human study for this person. He has conflict with, with his wife, with, with his, say, with the relationship with the power plus his conflict when he goes in his journey. And again, he has some conflict. In the end, we heard what happened with his son. He sold his son just to, just to exist, just to, and this is unfortunate. This is what I saw in our uh, society. And I think I'm as an artist or a filmmaker, it's, it's my job now to spot these uh, problems. I spent, 30 years of my life, always I, I lived in exile and I lived with excellent, beautiful Iraqis. Uh, many of them, they are sitting here. And always, uh, uh, we loved each other. We, we just, I, I, I think that it's nice of harmony. But when I went back to Baghdad, 
I saw the story, the story is a different story. 